I just, you know what, I, we got no time. I got a lot of projects I gotta get done. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. In an exciting week, the president marked the anniversary of the signing of the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act. Join the vice president in hosting the Cancer Moonshot Task Force. Visited a mosque in Baltimore. Attended the National Prayer Breakfast. Mentored Steph Curry. And hosted the president of Columbia. This January 29th to February 4th, or will they call or text? Will they call <laughs> or text? <laughs> <laughs> On Friday, the president celebrated the seventh anniversary of the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, which empowers women to recover wages lost to pay discrimination, and was the first piece of legislation the president signed upon assuming office. And we're going to keep pushing until every single girl has the rights and the opportunities and the freedom to go as far as her dreams will take her. On Monday afternoon, the president and vice president hosted administration officials and research experts for the first meeting of the Cancer Moonshot Task Force a new national commitment to ending cancer as we know it. On Wednesday morning, the president traveled to Baltimore, Maryland to make his first visit as president to an American mosque. He first sat down with Muslims from across the country. Everybody please have a seat. So, how's everybody doing? Good, uh, thank you for doing this. He then spoke about a core American value, protecting the right of everyone in America to worship God as they see fit. Today, there are voices in this world, particularly over the internet, who are constantly claiming that you have to choose between your identities. As a Muslim, for example, or an American, do not believe them. If you're ever wondering whether you fit in here, let me say it as clearly as I can, as President of the United States, you fit in here, right here. You're right where you belong. You're part of America, too. You're not Muslim or American, you're Muslim and American. He also stopped in the school's gym to spend a moment with the students who gathered to listen to his speech. On Thursday, the President and First Lady joined an august group of faith leaders from across the country at the National Prayer Breakfast, an annual tradition in the nation's capital. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love. Then the president hosted the NBA champion Golden State Warriors in the East Room of the White House. Along with the rest of the NBA, the team is partnering with My Brother's Keeper to provide role models and help address persistent opportunity gaps faced by boys and young men of color. After meeting with the Athletic Californian, the president hosted President Juan Manuel Santos of Colombia for a bilateral meeting in the Oval Office and then a reception in the East Room for Plain Columbia, the joint bipartisan effort to create a safer, more prosperous future for citizens in both our countries. So, hasta la vista, but before we go, remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your Western Week. Colombians love and admire Americans, and they love you very much. You are the most popular person in the Colombian polls. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>